What up, y'all? DC Fago guy. It's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, I lost my internet about a week ago. It was actually a week ago today that I lost my internet. Uh, before I lost it, though, I did happen to get on the Juggalo show for Psychopathic Radio, and I actually did catch the part where Violent J talks about the missing link. So here I am with an updated my two cents on the missing link. It's, it's an updated thing for the missing link because now we have the story. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to kind of touch on how this may have changed my perspectives as well as touch on other things or other people's uh, interpretations of the missing link. Because I got to be honest, I was irked a little bit by some shit that I saw when I came back, when I got my internet back. I didn't even have my internet back. Sunday, I happened to go over to my soon-to-be mother-in-law's, and I was on Facebook, and I had seen some shit, and it just really bugged the shit out of me, so I almost made a rant video out of it. Ultimately, decided not to. I don't like to be, I don't want to be that kind of person that just, you know, picks fights, but it may come to that, because I took it very, for me, it was offensively, and it may not even be something that you could consider offensive. Anyway. So the missing link is supposed to be that missing link between your happiness. In the video, he doesn't come out and say directly that the lost is uh, people being lost from God. Um, however, a certain individual and there were others that took the interpretation of it to be that the lost album is supposed to be your loss from God. They did talk a little bit about that. They did say the word God, and they did say, uh, Violent J, for the very first thing he said was the missing link, you are lost. You're, you're missing link from faith. And he said the missing link from your salvation, which makes you think heaven, which makes you think God. But, you know, he, he kept trying to rephrase himself, you know. He said the, you're missing link from happiness. And to me, that's the ultimate um, interpretation is what, in your life makes you feel fulfilled what makes your life feel complete that is your missing link what is that thing that you require in your life to be fully happy to live your life to the fullest with no regrets you could die today and be fucking happy you know what i mean so that's what irked me was of course i don't even want to i just don't even want to i don't want to draw negativity to myself i don't want to start beefs i'm not about that shit but, you know, of course, the boy Blue, being the ordained priest that I guess he is, is spreading his gospel now that the missing link is being lost from God. And I also see where he spun it out and he started up the Juggalo is a religion thing again. And I just, that irritates me. Uh, Blue, if you're watching, this is why I don't really like your content. I'm, by definition, an atheist. You talk a lot about God and religion, not my cup of tea. I personally don't like the videos you make about trying to show people how to be jugglos. That's just me. I'm not sub to you. I don't watch your sh your uh, your videos because I don't really like your content in that aspect. So that is the reason why I'm not subbed and why I don't watch. Unfortunately, that somehow still came to me, and I ended up did I ended up watching some of your stuff, which I shouldn't because it just. I don't know why it irritates me. I don't want to be irritated. I don't. That's why I avoid it. So that's out of the way. Out of the way. Okay. How has learning the meaning of what the missing link is? How, how has it changed my perspective on it? Ultimately, the name is even more fresher now because it makes better sense. You know, I said in my video, uh, one of my videos about the missing link. I think I made two or three of them now that the missing link you know ultimately made me think of like bigfoot and animals you know the missing link between humans and animals and one of those things being being insane because in society's eyes people who are insane are animals um so i mean i was nowhere near close to what the missing link is but it wasn't too far off so i think the name is even more fresher now because it makes so so much perfect sense, you know, just to, I keep thinking to myself, that missing link of your happiness is, you know, for some people it would be having the perfect job, be for finding love, 
the name's even fresher now. As far as the images go, the lost one is still, like I said, it's fucking fresh because it makes sense, you know. Um, when Violent J talks about being lost, your missing link is lost, you know. Obviously, you're miserable. You're going to be living fucking angry or you're going to be living sad, whatever. And I think the mask helps represent you're trying to shield yourself from things because you're you're lost from your happiness, you know. Or maybe the mask is your fucking, your battle armor because you're fucking angry at everything and you hate the world. You know, ultimately the lost image is fucking fresher because of that. Um, found, I'm struggling with now because I'm not fully seeing where that, I don't know. I haven't fully digested that yet, but um, I'm definitely excited for The Missing Link. I think the fucking story of The Missing Link is awesome. It's another one of those Joker cards that exists within, you know, like the Great Malenko um, and Mighty Death Pop. They're the ones that are already in you instead of like Riddle Box, you meet him after death, or Amazing Jekyll Brother, you meet them after death, or the Wraith comes to take you when you die. You know, it's inside you. The Missing Link is inside you. That Missing Link of what makes you happy, what makes your life fulfilled. Um, I think it's fucking awesome. I can't wait for the album to come out. I have a great idea for a promo video I want to do now because of it. So that's coming in the future. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, to those of you who watch Carnival Spirits and are following the Backwards series, um, I missed Juggalo Day. Again, I didn't have internet. Probably going to do that video after I finish this one. I won't upload it until tomorrow because there's going to be a big announcement coming out on Fagel. Or blah, blah, blah. There's going to be a big announcement coming out on Carnival Spirits, and I really don't want my video to conflict with that. So I'm going to wait until the announcement's out and let that really sink in for you guys. Um, but I did something special, and I actually did this back in January. So uh, be on the lookout for Backwards. It's coming up back at you. Um, and I have other video ideas that I'm going to do. And... Uh, one of them is, of course, I've said in the past that, to me, talking about politics and religion is just something you don't do. However, this whole thing with the missing link and the juggle of wisdom and religion, um, some time ago, I think early January, I had an idea of doing a video um, talking about my interpretation of the Dark Carnival being an atheist by definition. How do I interpret the carnival being God? So... That's definitely another video project coming up. I'm back. Didn't seem like I was gone. You know, I typically don't upload videos every single week. So, you know, as far as YouTube goes, it doesn't even seem like I went anywhere. But definitely on Facebook, I was gone for a while. And my emails blew the fuck up. So, yeah. I've rambled on for eight minutes now. I've had my Fago cream soda or uh, cotton candy float. To those of you who uh, have Cotton Candy Fago in your area and have a Walmart, um, Walmart may not carry Fago, but I think they set out maybe secretly with Fago. Who knows? I have no idea. But they came out with a new flavor of Cotton Candy ice cream. And when you put the two together, it makes an awesome fucking float. So definitely head down to your local Walmart and pick up that Cotton Candy ice cream. Head to your local gas station or whoever or wherever. Get your Cotton Candy Fago and make an awesome float. This shit is delicious. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts on the missing link on the story of the missing link. Nothing has changed. I think it's even more dope now that I know a story. I cannot wait for this album. I've already got it pre-ordered. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.